Hey y'all, this is your girl Shanice. Come to you guys real quick. I am 28 weeks and two days now. Ugh. I have an access appointment tomorrow, but I'm going to have to reschedule. I'm going to have to see if I can get in there Monday. I hate doing that because i done that with my second son. And they had a nerve trying to tell me, oh, he, um, they tried to tell me, they took away a few of my days. And, um, that kind of hindered me. Stop, Rian. Kind of hinder me. Stop. Kind of hinder me when I went in labor with him. Because instead of them giving me the full 38 weeks, they would tell me that I was on 37. In a few days. And I told him, I said, well, you're actually wrong because if you go look back at my chart, the girl wrote it down wrong. One of the things about this pregnancy I hate so much is with my boys... Excuse me, but with my boys, I was not as gassy. I'm starting to get a little bit of heartburn, but with my boys, I've had heartburn. But basically, the whole time I was pregnant. Um, what was this? No, it depends on what I eat. With them, it could be a bowl of cereal. I was in heartburn. It could be a, some juice. I had heartburn. This one, I don't have that issue. As long as I'm drinking some ice cold, I'm good. And then, I think I left my jug of water home. Then I noticed that I am like my contractions are bad. Like bad. Bad, bad. <laughs> bad. Did you get the... Shh. Ouch. Yeah. Did you get the money? Did you get the money? Yeah, yeah. Well, how much you got? $40? No, you're going to get home. You're going to get home. You're going to get home. What are you doing? Get in the car. So. So, yeah. Uh, that's about it. I'm just being real gassy. It is painful. And I use my my my, my tums come. My tums hush. We got somewhere to go. Oh, I'm I'm gonna go with Walmart. All right, stay back. I'm going to go to the door. Which I gotta be good because I got my belt. Yep. So, but y'all do always talk. I mean, don't be disobedient running all over the store. We so, um, yeah, 28 weeks and two days. I mean, I never thought that I would be this gassy or I started having contractions bad. What, 26 weeks, 27 weeks? Yeah. Bad. I'm talking about bad in my back. Like, and I read up on it about preterm labor. And I know I went in early labor with one of my kids at 33 weeks. So I will tell my doctor if I don't get to go. I'm, most likely I'm not because my appointment at 830. And my husband had to miss work already. Because he was moving one day. So he can't miss no more days. So um, I'm just going to have to call reschedule and get either Monday or Tuesday. So this girl, I got to let them know. Because I don't want to be having her, you know. And they could have stopped it because with my second son, with our second, with our, that I have it sometimes say my, but it's our second son. And um, he was coming in 30 weeks. I cleaned up our whole apartment. He was helping. But I mean, I was moving in fast motion, just cleaning up everything. And I wasn't even tired. And next thing I know, contractions started kicking. So they stopped. I go to sleep, drink some water, make sure I eat and all that. And I get back up the next morning and I'm telling him, like, uh-oh, you might have to miss work. So, thank God my sister was able to come and get me and my, uh, and our one-year-old. I think he was about to be two. Yeah, he was about to be two. Or he was two. No, he was two. Because it was in October. He was two. He just turned two in September. But they stopped it. They tried to give me another pill. They tried to give me a pill. I wouldn't take the pill. I just took the shot. They said if the shot don't work, they let you know it's meant for him to come. So, but my due date at first was like October the 28th. Then it was.
like November the 5th, November the 6th, November the 10th. They didn't know what it was because I had weird uh, periods because I gained so much weight after the golf ladder. So, irregular periods. So, they didn't really know what my due date was. So then, after that, I was like, well, if they would have keep, you know, kept October 28th, they would have been right because it came October 25th. So, but they had me in labor for that whole day because they would not give me my three days for 24 hours, actually, that night and that day. Yeah, what time did I go in? Yeah. That night. Yeah, 24 hours. And he told me, I'm not going to help you. I said, if you go back and look at my charts, you will see. So, he go back, look at my charts, and finally come back and say, Pop, guess what? Who was on their way out? He was already coming out. He, dude ain't even left five seconds and my baby starts shoving down there to come out and and think about this i had no pain medicine the whole time none so i was ginging it and i told the doctor my water will not break on my own so you will have to do it because my first child my water had to be broke so basically all my all the boys the water had to be broke so hoping and praying this time I get to experience that because I would love to experience that and then my water breaks on its own because this is our last baby at least we say it's our last baby but you know God has the last thing so yeah making that face uh. <laughs> I got you on camera too anyway I'm about to go on Wally World so talk to y'all later love you guys and other than that, the pregnancy is going great besides the early contractions and the gassiness. Like, they're real contractions. These are not Braxton's, Braxton Hicks. The only reason why they calm down is because either I pray and I lay my butt down. Other than that, it's all in my back and it feels like the baby's pushing me down there. Yeah. So, in very bad pain down there. So, but anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.